we're now going to do the Achilles reflex. One method of assessing the Achilles reflex is to flex the hip, knee, and ankle, as I'm doing now, and to briskly strike the Achilles tendon. The response we're looking for is plantar flexion of the foot. While we're in this area, we can also attempt to elicit a Babinski reflex. Remember that a Babinski reflex is an abnormal reflex. We place the tip of an applicator stick at the heel of the foot and bring it on the lateral margin coming to the base of the toes running to the base of the large toe, as shown. The normal response is plantar flexion. The abnormal response is dorsiflexion and a fanning of the toes. This response, an abnormal reflex, is seen in pyramidal tract diseases. And this concludes our assessment of reflexes. We're now going to continue with the assessment of motor function. We're now going to assess motor function and a screening musculoskeletal examination in the upper extremities. Mr. Johnson, I'd like you to trap my hand, bring your chin down, and press, and relax, and do it back here. Press, and relax. Trap my hand over here, and relax. Trap here, and relax. Push forward, and relax. Push back, and relax. You bring your arms up like this, and push, and relax, and push down, and relax. Make a fist for me, don't let me open them, and relax, and don't let me push your wrists in, and relax. Good, you can put your arms down here. We're now going to assess motor function in the lower extremities. Push up, and relax, and push down and relax. Push forward, relax, push back, relax, push up, relax, and push down, and relax. One test for cerebellar function is the finger-to-nose test. I'm going to place my finger here, and if you raise your right finger and touch my finger, and touch your nose. Touch my finger, touch your nose. Touch my finger, touch your nose. Close your eyes, touch my finger, touch your nose. Touch my finger, touch your nose. And you can open your eyes. An important assessment of cerebellar function is the Romberg test. Would you put your feet together for me? And just bring your arms up like this, and close your eyes, and I'm gonna let your hands go. And just stand like this with your fingers open, Fine. You can open your eyes, put your arms down. We're now going to assess gait. The final part of the neurologic examination is assessment of gait. Would you walk toward me? And stop right there and turn around and walk on your toes.